Char lists are essentially lists of integers where each integer represents a Unicode code point. They're different from strings, which are binaries, both in structure and in use. Let's go ahead and dive into char lists and see how they function. Let's open up our terminal and start the shell with IAX. Now, char lists are created using single quotes. So if we do something like hello, that is a char list, which a binary hello is a binary or a string is a binary. So every character in a char in a char list corresponds to a Unicode code point represented as an integer. Now you can find a character's code point using the question mark. For example, we can do question mark A and that's going to return 97. And conversion between strings and char lists is pretty straightforward. You can convert a string to a char list doing string dot two underscore char um, char list. So if we do hello, this will return a char list back. And then we can also convert a char list to a string with list dot to string and then pass in single quotes. Hello. And then we get a string back. Now, this is especially handy when you're working with Erlang. Uh, char lists are a holdover from Erlang string representation. So in dealing with Erlang libraries, you'll often encounter char lists. So for example, we can do Erlang dot uh, is underscore list and pass in our char list. Hello with single quotes. Well, if I can type and that is true. So remember char lists are like linked lists. So getting their length is order of N, which means it can be less efficient than working with binaries for certain operations, the larger they get. So be mindful of the differences between char lists and strings. Always convert explicitly between them and just remember the use of single quotes for char lists. And that's our quick tour for char lists and Elixir. Char lists being lists of Unicode code points offer a different approach compared to strings. They're particularly useful for the Erlang interoperability and specific scenarios. Just keep an eye on their performance aspects and I'll see you in the next video.